Listen, you watching this video, there's a person out there who is going to massage parlors. You're going to massage parlors. You're actually addicted to going to massage parlors. And the reason you're going to these massage parlors is so you can bust a nut. It's so you can have a happy ending. But for you, my friend, it's not a happy ending because you're bound. You're bound by these demonic influences that are shoving you into these massage parlors. Bro, you need to stop. You have to stop. I was doing a walk today. I was going on a walk, four mile walk, getting my mind right. And the thought came to me to do a video on massage parlors. And this is what I'm doing. I'm releasing this video tonight so you can get the information that you need. A lot of you may be dealing with going to massage parlors. A lot of you may be going to massage parlors. Listen, stop faking the phone, bro. It's only one reason you're going to massage parlors. You are going to get them to, to, to rub one out for you, bro. That's what it is. You're going to get them to rub it out for you, bro. And when you go to these massage parlors, you're just inviting demons. Number one, you're breaking all kinds of rules, right? You're exposing yourself naked in front of other people. You don't know if these, these women are married, their husbands in the back. These little massage parlors, man, I'm trying to tell you, bro, listen, it's a demonic portal. A lot goes on in these massage parlors, human trafficking, um, uh, prostitution, and you're putting yourself in a cesspool of demons when you go to these massage parlors. There's an evil spirit driving you, urging you to go and expose yourself with these women in these massage parlors. It's a bit kinky. It's a bit um, unorthodox. It, it's, it's like, ooh, somebody's watching me and, and you're just... You're just being controlled by a spirit of perversion, an unclean spirit. And when these women suck you off or they they give you a hand job and you splatter all over yourself and you splatter all over their arm and you're just getting rocked off from these women, bro. You are just opening yourself up. You are you have opened your whole spirit to be inhabited by demons it ends today it ends today it ends tonight there this is not an accident that you clicked on this video it's not an accident that you clicked on this video and if this video if you if you're not dealing with uh going to massage parlors this is just a warning because the temptation will come and share this video, share this video because men are being to see, oh, I'm going there because I'm really tight. My, you know, your shoulders may be tight. Your neck may be tight, right? There, there are ways for you to get that stuff worked on and rubbed out where you're not in a position to be in a, in a place that is sexually perverted. You can do it without being sexually perverted. Right? You go into these massage parlors, bro. You stripping down. Butt booty naked. You out there willy nilly. And they rubbing them out for you. They are rubbing them out. Right? And you busting all over yourself. Right? Masculinity just being handed over. You're just handing over your masculinity and you're also creating demonic altars. Not only are you establishing demonic altars through masturbation and porn, you're creating other altars when you go to these massage parlors. Now you're on their altar. You're laying on their altar, giving up your seed. You're giving up your seed and they're stealing your destiny. They're stealing your destiny. Right. When you agree to go to a massage parlor and you agree to 
to to jack off or have these women jack you off or do these things to you when you're in that little room and the lights are dim you don't know what their meditations are right when you're when you're giving up that seat you don't know how deep they are into witchcraft you don't know what they're conjuring up you don't know what um you know prayers or incantations they've done over those rooms to extract your destiny to take away your virtues when you're on their altar that massage table is an altar it's an altar and that altar has been programmed for the advantage of the establishment that you are entering that altar is programmed for the advantage of the establishment that you are entering, right? And when you go in there, you come into agreement with that establishment that if they say, you know what, I'm taking all of his um, financial prosperities for four generations, you giving that up to that massage parlor because you, because you're coming into agreement. Not only do you come into agreement, then you take out your hard earned money and you seal the deal, not only just with your semen, but you seal the deal with a form of payment. I'm going to tell you something, man. If you've been going to massage parlors, you need to repent. You need to turn away from that wickedness. You need to renounce and denounce and you need to re, um, reject all of that stuff and, and command those spirits to leave. You need to fast. You need to pray. If you're struggling with this, it needs to stop. You need to do a hard 180. A to the sap. You need to do a hard 180 because your life is going to be trash. That's a fact. Your life is going to be trash. Listen, if you're getting value out of this video, Please hit the like button for your boy and share this content. You have permission to share this content. If you can't click on the link and you don't want to join the exclusive members to support the channel, support the channel by sharing the content and by liking the video. If you guys are going to massage parlors, man, you need to stop, bro. You, you, you are opening up a can of worms that's going to be hard to close. Right. It's going to lead to, to now your the hand job is not going to be enough. Now you're going to you're going to throw one hundred dollars on the table and you're going to ask the lady, can I can I can I can I um, can I can I dig you out? You're going to start digging out the massage lady. Right. She's going to be like, I need two hundred. I need three hundred. I need four hundred. Right. Now you now you're engulfed in in prostitution you now you're you're just tying yourself down sexually you have no control your whole life you're in chains you're in spiritual chains and 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 your strings are being pulled by demons they're using your body and and you're spending your own money you're spending your money to go to these massage parlors and have them jack you off having sex with these women, doing all kind of detestable things. And here's what you guys got to understand about going to these massage parlors. 99, 100% of the men going to these massage parlors, they're all going in those rooms, beating their meat. They're all going in their, those rooms, releasing their seed. Like you might be the 15th guy to go in there and jack off. And you're going and that's the type of environment you are going into. And that's why when you're in your dreams, it's hard not to resist the suck of a spirit because you are so spiritually clogged with sexual perversion, masturbation, pornography, lust. You are so spiritually clogged and there's so much work that you have to do in order to be free i told you guys salvation is free but deliverance is going to cost you in order for you to be free you're going to have to crush your flesh and if you're going to massage parlors you are establishing yokes of bondage over your life you are establishing yokes of bondage over your life 
And yokes are not easy to break because they're thick and they weigh on you and they lay on you. And it's hard to move them off of you because they're so thick and heavy and they hold you down. That's what happens when you go to a massage parlor. I can't believe I've done almost 400 videos and I've never done a video on massage parlors, on happy endings. These endings are not happy, at least for you, because you're giving up your virtues. You're giving up your spiritual blessings. You're handing it over to the demonic kingdom. Not only that, you are coming into agreement with that establishment. So all the evils that come with that, you are covenanting yourself with that establishment. The curses the um, that comes along with what they're doing, you're a part of it. You are in covenant with that establishment, you are willfully going into an establishment to offer up your seed. You're, when you get on that massage table, you're laying on an altar. And you're, you're giving your seed up to that establishment for their financial prosperity and for your detriment. Your marriage is going to suffer as a result of that. Your relationships with Everyone is going to suffer as a result of that. You, you walk out of that place, you're going to feel like trash. Why? Because you've just, you just injected yourself with poison. Hold my nuts is here to save you. Jesus Christ is here to save you. Right? Yeshua. Hamashiach. The Christ. He's here to save you. But he's a warrior. Christ, the Bible says that God is a man of war. If you want freedom, then you're going to have to die. And what I mean by that is you're going to have to spiritually die to yourself. You're going to have to kill that flesh. Jesus says some of these spirits only come out through prayer and fasting. Right. You've been to the massage parlor. You're going once a week. You spend it. However much you spend it. But you are spending money. You're 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 covenanted with these. Uh, establishments you're covenanted with these establishments and your life is under yokes a yoke is a very very heavy bondage it's hard to break free from because once you cut through the yoke something else falls in those in those crevices in those cracks and fills it it's a heavy yoke only Christ can lift that yoke off of you. Only Christ can lift that yoke off of you. A lot of prostitution going on, man. Lots of prostitution is going on, man. When you when you go and you covenant yourself with these women, you you engage in the act of prostitution and you engage in these things, you are you are you are basically saying yes to every evil imaginable. You are basically playing Russian roulette with your own life. You're just you're just rolling the dice on your own life. Guys, whoever it is, man, if it's you. You need we need we got to go into prayer, bro. You got to pray. You got to stop. I'm going to say a quick prayer for the person watching this that I'm speaking to. And Father God, I thank you that when I pray, you hear me. I thank you, Father, that you speak to the mind in thought and you give inspiration. I think I thank you, Lord, that this video was inspired as I was walking and meditating and you were thinking of someone else and you released that thought into my mind to give me this video idea. And you had this person in mind for them to see this message and for however many men that I'm speaking to you had me create this video to release it on this platform so the message could get to the right people I thank you for using me for allowing me to be a tool in the name of Jesus 
I take authority and I bind up every demonic spirit plaguing those, Father, that you have identified that need this video. I pray, Father, that you will remove the scales off of their eyes. I pray, Father, that as they watch this video, that they will begin to cry out and repent and turn from their wicked ways. I pray, Father, that you will send the angels, the war angels, to ward off those demonic spirits fighting them and urging them to go and sell their soul on the altars of massage parlors, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, liberate them, Lord God. Teach their hands to war and their fingers to fight, Father. Have mercy on them, Father. According to Psalms 51, Father, blot out their transgressions, Lord God. Give them the grace to repent. Give them the strength to turn away from wickedness. Father, I pray, Lord God, that you separate them from the evil covenants that they have established. I pray, Father, that the covenants that have been established be renounced and denounced in the name of Jesus. Father, let your power seep through this algorithm on YouTube. Let it enter into the bodies of your people, Father, into their bodies like water, into their bones like oil, Father. Let your healing power, Father, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit, let the fire of God enter into them and set them free and consume the evils that are driving them to prostitution, that are driving them to masturbation at these wicked establishments, Father. Visit them in their dreams, Father. Liberate them and set them free in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Send people, Lord God, in their path that can help them, that can pray for them, that will fast with them. Send ministers, Lord God, that can take them through deliverance in the name of Jesus, that can break that cycle of wickedness, Father. I pray, Lord God, that those that this video is for, Father, that you return and that you restore their fortunes, you restore their virtues in the mighty majestic, all-powerful name of Jesus Christ, the warrior God, the God-man. I thank you, Father, that I have received what I have asked for in the name of Jesus. Brothers, be blessed in the Lord. Turn from your sin. God is with you. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace. I love you.